I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Disney Princess Treats and Sweets Party Game. It's ages four and up, two to four players, and it takes 15 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to be the first player to have five treats on your plate and five sugar cubes in your cup. For game setup, uh, you're going to have to first assemble your teapot. You need to assemble it every time you play. It does not fit in the box fully assembled, so just know that going in. Each person gets to pick a character, and you pick the cup and the corresponding plate that matches and put five sugar cubes on your plate. Put your cup on the matching spot in the center of the board. Spread the treats around the board, frosting side up, and you are ready to go. The youngest player gets to go first. We'll say that is Blue Jasmine. And on your turn, the teapot is very fun because that is how you roll the dice for the game. So you roll the dice out of the spout and you go to the color that the nearest color that matches uh, the one that came up. So you move clockwise around the board, they would land on yellow, which has a strawberry on it. And the number two, that is how many of the cupcakes you get to flip over looking for that match. So they would flip over this one, that's not it. And this one, oh, hey, they got it. So if you get a match, uh, you put the one that matched on your plate and you get to put a sugar cube in your cup, flip over the one that wasn't a match, and now it is the next player's turn. So they get to go, you put in the dice through the heart at the top, and the next player, you move clockwise around for the next, so the next one is yellow, and Belle, and she's going to the nearest pink clockwise, and it's a heart sugar cookie that she's supposed to be finding. And she has three to flip over. So she'll flip over one, two, three. And oh, she's so lucky. Uh, this is a wild. And if you get a wild, that counts for whatever you would like for it to count for. So she takes that and puts a sugar cube in her cup. And then it's the next person's turn to go. And that's the whole game. You just keep on going. Uh, sometimes you don't find a match on your turn. There's no penalty. You just don't get to have a treat and don't put a sugar cube in. And keep on going until someone has five treats and all of the sugar cubes in their cup. And then they are the winner. So that's how to play Disney Treats and Sweets Party Game. The target demographic for this game is Disney princess fans who want a memory game. Uh, the rule complexity is low, although assembling the teapot is a bit of an ordeal every time you play. But besides that, game setup and gameplay is very simple and easy. Uh, how competitive is it? Uh, it's low to medium, depending on how your child does with memory games and whether or not they're finding what they're looking for right away or if it takes a few times. Uh, the replay value is medium, in part because as a parent, you have to assemble this each time, and it's been a little bit of a pain. Um, and because the components are okay, but we have a fair number of princess-themed games around here, and the other ones are a little bit more toy and game, where you can just play with the components as well as playing the game. Uh, so this doesn't get out quite as much as the others, just because the pieces aren't as fun to play with as toys. On that note, uh, similar games, uh, Disney Princess Cupcake Party is like the holy grail of princess themed games. Uh, every child loves building little cupcakes. The pieces are really cute. You can play with it as a toy or as a game. Uh, so much fun. And then uh, Pretty Pretty Princess has a Disney Princess version, uh, which has been getting a ton of gameplay in our house because you throw a bunch of jewelry into a game and it's princess themed. It's going to be a surefire hit. But this is very cute. If you're looking for something, uh, the Disney Princess Treats and Sweets Party game, if you're looking for something that's princess but also memory themed, it is an excellent choice. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.